Hey, hey, it's John Hope Bryant. I'm live. Uh, I want to uh, talk to you about the rainbow after this storm. We're going to punch through this. That's right. We're going to get on the other side of COVID-19. All those dealing with pain and suffering, my heart goes out, goes out to you and your loved ones. But God willing, the creek don't rise. We're going to get on the other side of this. Can I get an amen? Okay. So what are we going to do? So let me, let me be real straight. While we're suffering and dealing with our pain, I know the, the numbers are just, you guys didn't know I was going to go live. Uh, by the way, a million five followers on all our platforms. Uh, LinkedIn uh, is about 150,000. And we have Twitter and Instagram and Periscope and YouTube. Um, and there's about 100,000 there. And then there's a, a million four, I think it is, at uh, Facebook. But at Facebook, they don't tell me you when I'm going live, right? I'm going to start going live on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, but they don't notify you when I'm going live on Facebook. So you don't know. So you have to watch them on replay. So I want you to go into your settings and go into settings and um, and change it so that it's notify you when John Bryant goes live on video. So that when I go live on video, it tells you and you get to catch me live and uh, we can have a real conversation straight up. You have to watch it on replay. I see you guys signing in. Hey, uh, uh, Milena, uh, Sergio, one of our big followers, uh, one of our top fans. So let me get into this topic tonight. Uh, I know your time is valuable. Um, how do you survive in a COVID, a post-COVID environment? I don't want you to survive. I want you to thrive. It's my new book, Up From Nothing, which comes out in October. You can pre-order it now. Um, the first thing I want you to do is call my uh, an, an Operation Hope coach. The services are free. I'm going to help you restructure your mortgage, uh, talk to your landlord, deal with your credit card, deal with uh, your uh, your uh, student loans, deal with the CARE Act. If you need to apply for the CARE Act, for still you need to get your PPP loan, um, all that, we're going to help you with that, right? We're going to help you apply, help you march you through the process. We've helped a bunch of folks get their money. To help you get your money, okay? So uh, I want you to call 888-388-HOPE or go to operationhope.org or download the Hope in Hand app on app on uh, Amazon or on um, the Android platform. And leave a, by the way, leave a leave a, um, a review on Apple or Android of the app. I appreciate that. Now, tell your friends to follow this movement. So let me get into this. How do you, uh, hey, Derek, uh, hey, Marshall, how do you get paid at home? How do you build, rebuild your life at home? So when this is over, folks will go back to their life, but not really. Some of this is going to be permanent, all right? So now if you have a home-centric environment, think about this. You've been told to domicile at home. You've been told to teach your children at home. You've been told to work from home, okay? You've been told to distance at home, all right? Uh, guess what's most important right now, your home base. If it's important to you, it's important to everybody else. Many people will never change. They'll be, they'll be home-centric. For, for, for the good part of the school year, you're going to be teaching kids at home. So I want you to reimagine everything about how you go about your business. So the first thing I want you to get in your mind, if you're a minority-owned business in particular, get out of busyness and in the business. So busyness is... Um, I am good at, as a graphic designer. I'm busy as a graphic designer. I'm good at a computer technician. I'm busy at that. I'm good at, tell me if you're feeling this now. I'm good at being a plumber. I'm good at being uh, a, a, a craftsman. I'm good at that, okay? That's fantastic. But that's not, that's busyness. That's not business. Business requires business management. So you need a Business management tool or tools. You need to know what your profit and loss statement is. You don't know what that is? Operation Hope Coaches will help you. You need to know what a balance sheet is. If you're in business and do not know what a balance sheet is, stop. Whatever you're doing, you've got to get that memo. You've got to get that memo, right? If you're running a church, right? Yeah, a church, as they said when I was growing up. That's spiritual and it's beautiful, but that's also business. Um, it, you, you've got to understand what a balance sheet is, an income and expense statement is. You need to know what your credit score is. And right now, is more is more important than ever to get your credit score up. And Operation Hope is moving credit scores 54 points in six months, and 100 points in 18 to 24 months. 
Your credit score, as you heard me say it before, nothing's more important than God or love than moving your credit score 120 20 points. Uh, uh, Duque said, uh, Duca says, Spreach. Um, you've got to understand that you need business records. If you can't get a CPA, an accountant, then do QuickBooks or whatever, but you need proper business records. If you don't think I'm right, this is why you couldn't get the PPP loan. This is why you couldn't get the SBA loan because the records weren't straight and you, you didn't know how to apply. You didn't have the proper protocols. You either got rejected or, or didn't move in the first place. Well, by the way, black business is like a triple threat, uh, triple problem. One, we don't trust the government because of slavery. Two, we don't trust banks because after slavery, the Freedmen's Bank failed and it, it redlined. Three, um, we, you know, we, we're just cynical and skeptical and we used to think it's not working for us. So we didn't apply uh, immediately. And once we did apply, the money was gone. There's a new tranche of P uh, PPP funds and I want you to get yours, but you've got to get this memo of what I'm talking about. The black companies, you don't think this is about green? The black companies that did what I said right now, they all got paid. I know them because I helped them get their money. The black-owned businesses, the Latino-owned businesses, the minority-owned businesses, uh, the, heck, the white-owned businesses, small businesses that did what, what I asked them to do and talked to my folks, got their check, got their money. They got, they got their green, all right? So whether you're black, white, red, brown, or yellow, you got to get your green. So I, I want you to get out of busyness and get to business uh, and understand that 96% of all black businesses are sole proprietorships. Hello, no employees. So you, we're going to have to merge. We're going to have to, to, to combine efforts. We're going to have to reimagine what we're doing because you cannot make money that way. You cannot build wealth that way. You may be able to make a little money. You can't build wealth. Do you want 100% of nothing or 10% of something? Can I get an amen? I'll repeat it. Do you want 10% of something or 100% of nothing? Let me tell you a story uh, that just happened today. I'm trying to give a nonprofit $10,000 through, through a friend of mine, a bank, First Republic Bank, I'll say it, gave me 10 grand to give to, to any nonprofit I wanted. I chased this nonprofit down for two weeks. Two weeks. Email, texting, flares, carrier pigeons, calling them mobile tech. I try to give this money. They're so busy feeding the homeless and trying to help people. They got no business management. The phone rings off the hook. The cell phone don't work. Email don't answer. No website. So, so while they're doing good, somebody said to me, yeah, but, they're, but when they get to heaven, the Lord's going to thank them for feeding the homeless. And yeah, and then the Lord's going to say, yeah, but you could have fed a lot more if you got that 10 grand from John O'Brien. Where's your business management system? Look, this person's nonprofit is going to fail. When, this is, oh, when, when that person's life is gone, when they live, when they leave this work, this earth, unfortunately, that nonprofit is done because it has no business management. It has no, it has no backbone, no infrastructure. And I, and I don't want 96% of black businesses poof to go away because the person who ran it uh, uh, ran out of contracts and ran out of room and didn't build any scale. So look, I'm about to give you a couple ideas of how you can build wealth in the COVID environment, but you can't do it without scale. You can't do it without a business management firm. I was talking to the ABL, Atlanta Business League, Leona, my friend over there, I did a seminar earlier this week, last week, the days are running together, um, and, I, and, and, we, and she said, you need, to get a, you need to get yourself a payroll firm, a con get a contract with a payroll firm to handle that for you. I go one step further. You need an accountant on call. You need an attorney on call. They don't charge you unless you use them, by the way. You need a, you need a contract company to handle payroll so you can make sure you're in compliance with city, state, and federal regulations. If you get this PPP loan, make sure you don't have to pay it back. By the way, you know you don't pay the loan back as long as you use it for employees or overhead. Hello. And there's a part of this loan with the government where everybody gets 10 grand. Every business gets 10 grand. No questions asked. Every nonprofit, every church gets 10 grand. Even if you don't qualify for the larger deal. But if you don't, if you don't understand these details I'm talking about, hello, you'll never get the moolah. You'll never get the money. You'll never get paid. You can't grow your business. It's like treading water. Or worse, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again expecting a different outcome. So let me give you two business ideas. Um, one of which I'm giving away is one, is one that was introduced to me. I'm going to invest in. So uh, think about now this new world, all right? So now you've got your business straight. You've got two, three, four people in your partnership or your employees. So you've got some infrastructure, some scale. Think about this. I got my car washed every week. Uh, so I'm, I'm vain. I love a clean car. Uh, every week for, you know, 10 years. Did I ever think he was disinfecting my car? Nope. I'm pretty smart. 
It never dawned on me. Did it ever dawn on you? You ever thought that the person washing your car is actually disinfecting your car? Think about this. You go into the store, you got your gloves on, you got your, your mask on. I hope you do. All right? I have mine on today. And uh, you come out the store and you've been so proud. You, you know, you, 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 know, you had your mask on, you didn't have your gloves on, you're touching stuff. And then you go touch your car and you go touch your, 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 your radio and you go touch your steering wheel. What are you doing? You're bringing all those germs right inside your car. So when they're cleaning your car and they're disinfecting it, guess who? Guess what? Now I'm like, well, now I want you to clean my, not only just want you to clean my car, I need you to clean my car because in this new environment of, 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 uh, of pandemics and germs, we're all going to be germaphobes. We're going to be all like, hey, look, clean my stuff. So now that guy, that business is going to just lock in with folks who want folks to disinfect his, the car. But hold on. You're going to go on vacation or you're going to go away for, you know, a road trip for a few days. And every family with children will be like, I want you to disinfect my house twice a year. Wouldn't you want that, wouldn't you want that to happen? Wouldn't you want somebody, you got children in your home, you got loved ones in your home. And this, it wants me on the other side of COVID. Don't you want to have your home disinfected from not just germs, but negative people. You know, can't, can't disinfect negative people, uh, toxic people, but you can disinfect the, for the germs. This is a whole business that didn't even exist. Hold on, listen to me now. Stadium restrooms. Listen now. Office buildings. Listen now. Government offices. Listen now. Small businesses. Showrooms. Auto dealership. Showrooms. Don't you think customers are going to be like, tell me, listen, I'm going to come up with a phrase now. Listen to me now. I'm giving you free information. People will pay tens of thousands of dollars for what I'm giving you. I'm giving it all to you for free. Listen to me now. This is going to be a phrase called COVID compliant. It's a write-off, uh, Marshall. She answered another question. Uh, okay, so there's a there's a there's a phrase that, that will be on the other kind of side of COVID that I'm going to call co I'm coining it, COVID compliant. You're going to go to a business and want to know are you COVID nineteen compliant? Um, and that's going to be a huge business. So right overnight, right, a business that didn't even exist three months ago is now a multi billion dollar industry, cleaning and disinfecting everything. Okay. Could that be your business? I think so. Let me tell you about another business. Uh, mobile uh, senior care, right? Uh, if, if you love people, you love the elderly, this, is, this may be your, your new niche. Uh, all these folks who are locked in at home, who are afraid to mingle and deal with people in the public for fear because they have a compromised immune system. My God, they, make, they can get, get, get sick. They're going to want company. They're going to want companionship. They're going to want somebody to help them run errands. They're going to help someone help cook meal, prepare meals for them and to take care of them. That is a business, people. It's not just doing well. It's doing well and doing good, too. That is a whole business that was sort of an industry before. It's now totally a business. Look, a third of this industry, a third of GDP, gross domestic product, our national GDP for this country, a third of it is finance. I'm in that business. A third of it's real estate. I'm in that business. A third of it is healthcare. My father-in-law's in that business. Hello, that's three fourths of the whole economy. But why? But but why are we still focused on? Why why are we thinking about just you know I don't know you know the creative spaces, which is great. But all the money, the wealth is in you know people making money wealth in real estate, finance, and healthcare, and, me and medical and wellness, right? Uh, and so I just outlined for you health and wellness. Uh, industries. A couple examples on the top of my head. Did you like those? Thumbs up if you did. Thumbs down if you did. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if there's any comments here. Uh, uh, both days says good ideas, great information, John Marshall. Okay. Now uh, let me tell you about somebody who has a business, big business, ran into trouble and had to reimagine it. Atlanta Business League member. So they have a 25,000 square foot facility for audio visual presentations. Okay, you're, I'm saying you say you like what you're hearing. Okay, good. By the way, you can give me exam, uh, ideas you want me to cover on a video and I'll try to do it in the future. Thomas Adams, great info. Okay, just make sure you, you, you guys use it. And go to Operation Hope for our small business and entrepreneurship classes and our financial coaching. We're America's financial coach. All our services are free thanks to our partners and our backers. Now, um, this guy had a 25, 000, has a 25,000 square foot facility. All his contracts got canceled, so he should be depressed. He said, I, I'm tired of being depressed. Poor people can't be depressed. Poor folks, folks who want no money, got to hustle. If you don't have compounded interest, you have to have compounded hustle. 
Hustle on more hustle creates hustle. Uh, hustle on hustle creates more hustle. Well, that's what I'm saying. So he was like, okay, wait a minute. I got at six or eight conferences for audiovisual work. They all canceled. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, now, I got this huge facility, these employees. What do I do? Reimagine everything. I said, okay, wait a minute. Everybody doing Zoom, conf Zoom, this video conference. Let me create a conference environment in my 25,000 square foot facility, do set changes depending on the company. So one day it's Operation Hope doing a town hall, doing a digital town hall from his facility, a few people there, but most of it is beamed out digitally to my employees, in this example, who are at home, uh, uh, distancing, distance working, right? Then and he has our logo up on the screens. You follow me? Come on, tell me about you follow me. And when you walk in, COVID compliant, when you walk in, you got to go through a situation to show that you, you know, you're, you don't have COVID-19 and you got to disinfect yourself. So you got to go through the disinfectant. And right away, you, if you leave the studio, you can't come back. He's trying to ensure to his clients that he's giving them a COVID safe, compliant environment. You, get, you guys getting this? Okay, great. So, the, so one day it's Operation, I love this idea, one day it's an Operation Hope Soundstage and we're tell, doing a town hall to our employees and we pay him for that. The next day, it's an IBM Soundstage and the logo for Operation Hope flips out and it's now IBM. The next day, it's, um, I don't know, Invest Atlanta. The next day, it's the City of Atlanta. The City of Atlanta logo is up and he's got a whole town hall or, or conference set up for a conference environment for the city of Atlanta so the mayor can do her town hall or her video conference to either several thousand employees or several hundred in a department or group. Or maybe the mayor wants to talk to the whole city of Atlanta, but she needs a place to do it from. This person has created this technology, this technology he's created for conferences. He should take this stuff and go out and do work someplace else. Now he's reimagined his own studio, his own workspace as a studio to earn money on every square foot. It's a brilliant idea. So he didn't sit around sitting immobilized and traumatized. He tried to figure out how can I, when you're being run out of town, get in front of the crowd and make like a parade. Hello. Uh, Leroy says, re-engineering. That's right, Leroy, re-engineering. Thomas Adams says, completed the entrepreneurship course at Opry Show last year. It was great. Now I've joined again to help my retail business. There you go, Thomas. I love that, all right? Give me those success stories. Tell me how you're doing. Download our app at Operation Hope. Get the books that I've written. That's the, uh, the, the books that I've written are millions of dollars worth of knowledge. You get in for 15 to 20 bucks. If you don't want to, you don't want me to benefit, I don't care. Go donate the 20 bucks to Operation Hope. Get a book from them. Just get the knowledge. The, the books are everywhere. Just get the knowledge. Or just listen to the 100 million video views I have on these channels. Uh, I think it's like 1,500 videos, 100 million video views. 1.5 million plus followers and growing. And I do it all for free. For now, I'm giving it to you. I've been giving it to you for three years, right? I'll stop, I'm going to stop charging you when I don't think that you appreciate it. Appreciate it, brother. You know, I'm serious. It's all free. I'm happy to do it. But but I need to know that this is sinking in, that you are appreciating the value of what I'm giving you because I'm, I'm not trying to be an elected official. I'm not running for office. I'm, I'm trying to make you the best version, the best version of yourself. Okay, uh, preach can't fix. Uh, uh, say, say, Josh Smith. Hey, Josh, love you, man. Preach can't fix a broken want to. Let's go. Uh, Josh is doing great work with prison ministry, by the way. You follow Josh Smith. Put your nonprofit uh, uh, um, website in there. Let people know what you're doing. Okay, um, so I've given you a couple ideas in healthcare. I've given you an idea in technology. Now, you cannot be a competitive anything today unless you're a technology-based company. Okay, let me give you another business that's an easy one. Home, this is so easy. Home-based mentoring. Oh, no, home-based tutoring, I'm sorry. Listen, parents want a break. Okay? Parents, parents need a break. They love their children. They need a break. Listen, listen to me now. This is a gold mine. Home-based education. No services. Home-based tutoring, uh, home-based homework assistance and support. Home what home-based. This is a gold mine, and you're doing well and doing good too. You're helping to make teach make sure that that uh, uh, um, parents don't go cray cray, <laughs> and, and 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 you're helping to make sure that that young people get get educated, right? And you're being compensated to do it. What a beautiful combination. Um, that's right. 
and home-based tutoring. Okay, and there's Josh's uh, website, For Purpose. Uh, his uh, fourth, uh, is it Fourth Purpose is Josh's company. He sold his company, now just trying to do good in the world. All right, um, so I've told you about busyness from, bu from busyness to business. I've told you about how America makes its money, from what industries. I've told you some examples. I've given you three examples for free of how you can actually go and reimagine your career and your life. Um, what else do you want? I mean, I, oh, let me give you one other thing that's going to happen. America, on the other side of COVID, is going to be on discount. And I don't mean shoes. I don't mean like discount blouse, right? I mean, America's going to be on discount. I mean, I mean discounted uh, automobiles, yes, but discounted real estate, discounted stock market, beautiful stocks you can buy for a fraction of their future costs. I'm not telling you to buy an airline stock. I'm not, because I'm not giving you advice. But if you if you think that someday, someday, air, people are going to fly again, someday, uh, assuming the airline doesn't go bankrupt, if you can buy a stock that was once a 200 bucks or 150 bucks for 20 bucks and then ride that stock back up, isn't that a great deal? Okay, you want a safer bet. Anything that's technology, you know, whoever owns Zoom, okay? Everybody's on Zoom these days. Um, Facebook, Walmart, you know, Target, they call it Target. You know, think of, look at where everybody's going. Look at where, what people are doing and what, they're, and what services they're using right now. You want to ride those technologies all the way up. And a lot of you buy at a discount. Real estate will be at a will be sold at a discount. Businesses will be sold uh, because whoever's running it just ran out of steam, ran out of room, ran out of capital. If you have good credit, a little bit of liquidity, and hustle, you're going to be able to create wealth on the other side of this pandemic. Uh, all right, uh, that's probably enough for one night. Let me see if I can answer a couple questions. Uh, hello, everyone. How are you? That's hey, Sabrina Gray. Establish a business. Let me see here. Um, let me see. Real estate uh, tax liens. Yes, Charlotta. You can buy tax liens at a discount uh, or buy property through buying tax liens. Yes, you can. Man, you may not have to work that hard. You may just find the real estate at a discount. Hey, Joyce Baxter. Um, 17 months of on time payments. The memo. Oh, go on, girl. That's what I'm talking about. Sean Holloway. I've been listening to your lives for a few months and I'm enjoying your information. I just received your book, The Memo. That's great. The new book is coming out. Um, you can pre-order it now. It's called Up From Nothing, The Untold Story of How We All Succeed. Um, it's my best my best yet. Uh, what's, um, Teresa, what's my link? I think you're talking about our app. You go on the uh, Apple Store or the Android Store to get the book, the uh, uh, Hope In Hand app. It's free. Um, all right, I don't think I, hey, Rakita, my cousin, love you. Uh, largest shift in wealth, Ty Grady, exactly right. Um, I teach, this is Rashida, uh, Rashida, I teach English to Korean professionals from my home. I love that. She teaches English to Korean professionals from her home, Rashida. I guess, this is a, Rashida, this is a distance business, so you do it, you, you do it, I, I guess, by phone or by, by, by video conference, maybe even before this. That's brilliant. If you're if you're what, if you're a growth based business in the future, you have to be a technology based business. You're a church, you're going to be using technology, or you're not going to grow. You're a small business of any kind. If you're not using technology, you're not going to grow. You're a nonprofit, not using technology, you, you're not going to grow. Uh, you're going to die. Uh, the world's going to leave you behind. You've got to find a way to use technology. Love, Rashid. Let me know whether they have a bit more detail on that. That's great. Um, I hope you've enjoyed tonight, Maria Montgomery, because of your knowledge. Uh, has propelled me to a 700 credit score. Yeah, and, I, and she, she says, I have your books. Thank you. Go on, Maria. Love that. Uh, Home-based tutoring. That's uh, Niduka. Perfect. All right, you guys are getting it. Uh, Robert Colson. Love it and definitely appreciate it. Great. Hey, Rahel. Love and light. She was one of the people who gave me some inspiration for my recent book, and she is brilliant at African Genius at, at working, uh, working at. All right, let's see some final comments. I'm going to let you go. Grace Vey, thank you very much for the information. I received $100,000, was it $100,000? $10,000, I think, from SBA instead of, uh, uh, no, she, I can't, can't read that. Uh, received $1,000 from SBA versus instead of $10,000. Get a hold of my coaches, Grace Vey, 
Um, then to make sure that you make sure that you got all the benefits you deserve, and make sure you got your earned income tax credit because that's another two, three, four, ten thousand dollars that's coming your way. Um, does Project Hope is Operation Hope, Janita? Does Project Hope have a division to support investment clubs? Uh, with knowledge, we do. Uh, there are civil rights clubs on my page. We're going to be energizing those in coming months. Teresa, Hope and Hand app. Thanks. Exactly. Okay. Love you guys. I'm out. My mother always said you never want to be the old guy in the club. So before you kick me out, I'm going to leave. Uh, thank you for the 100 million video views. Thank you for the 20th anniversary for Operation Hope, which was yesterday, getting us here. Uh, thank you for trusting me, 4 million clients of Operation Hope. Thank you for trusting me to help you raise your credit score 120 points in 24 months of changing your life. Thank you for allowing me to put $3.5 billion in underserved neighborhoods. Mary Erson, Lance Triggs, Janae Roscoe, Rachel Doff, Elaine Hungingberg, sorry, name of names, get, get in trouble with it. Uh, Sir James Buchanan, Tina Fair. Um, oh my God, all the heroes and sheroes have been around. Uh, just uh, Rod McGrew, uh, the, the, the Brian Betts. Uh, this is the whole crew that's been around for years with this uh, movement. I'm sure I missed out names. I'm sorry. Um, I apologize. Blame on my head, not my heart. But three and a half billion dollars invested in your neighborhoods through Operation Hope, creating homeowners, entrepreneurs, small business owners. We've done more work in the last two months. Than we've done in six the, the in the first six months of last year. More work in two months on COVID re response and recovery than in six months last year. Work is just through the roof. Our website crashed after Gail King put us on the on the uh, CBS Good Morning Show, this morning show. So we're just rocking and rolling. Got some great stuff coming up with T.D. Jakes and some other cool folks. There's, there's some magic in the bottle. It's coming. I just want to thank you all for trusting me with this voice, uh, the million five plus followers and growing, hundred growing at 100,000 a month. Uh, the, the, the the movement is real. Civil rights is real. Civil rights were waging one in the streets, but civil rights will be waging one in the suites. This movement is real. Just because history doesn't feel historic when you're sitting in it, it doesn't mean that it's not. I'm out. John O'Brien. Love and light.